Hello, welcome to today's show. Today I'm going to talk about Roxy music, which I think it's one of the um, uh, successful rock rock band in the 70s and the 80s. The reason I'm talking about Roxy music was because when I was growing up uh, back in uh, 80s. I fell in love with this album called Avalon. So what happened was the radio used to play a lot of this uh, album. So I'm going to play one of the songs which, which I uh, fell in love with. The first ever song I listened from Roxy Music was this one. Released in 1982 um, from the album Avalon. They used to play the song a lot on Radio Australia, a show called Sound About. So that is when I knew about the song. It was, I think, UK number one, if I'm mistaken. That's Brian Ferry. The whole album is wonderfully produced. Um, comes a nice cover, and this is uh, this is used to be this is actually Brian Ferry's uh, ex-girlfriend when uh, when you were. When they're filming, when, when they're doing this album in, in one of the studios in Scotland, so she was asked to wear this and post on the album cover. Yeah. Uh, this album has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten album, uh, ten songs, and. Every song on this album is brilliant. I'll play you the second song, it's called The Space Between. Yeah, it's nice. Oxy Music was formed in, was formed in uh, 1970. The guy who's playing the saxophone is Andy Mackay, he's one of the founders of the group. Guitar is Phil Manzanera, a keyboard and vocals Brian Ferry. Brilliant album. They have one instrumental in this album, uh, which they use for the opening for their concert, for, for Evan concerts called My Heart, uh, Heart, Heart Soul Beating concert. The uh, intro for that concert was this one. It's called India. It's uh, instrumental. Nice. And that is how they start the concert. And they toured Europe and America. I think they're big in Australia as well.
I'm going to play you a song from Yanni Etienne. Um, I'll tell her who she is later. But I'm going to play one of a song called Feeling. Uh, we step away from Roxy Music. I just want you to listen to Yanni. And then I'll tell you what's the connection to Roxy Music here. Yeah. If you're a class of voice, yeah. If you're a, if you're a Roxy fan. From she's from Haiti. All right, let me tell you what the story behind Yannick Etienne. Yannick Etienne was actually singing next door to the studio when they made Avalon. When she was singing, Brian Ferry heard her voice next door, and he she he immediately told uh, the producer that he wants her to sing with him in one of the songs and so they did and so they made uh, the song they made this song together it's called so Yannick uh, yeah. Yannick picked Yannick sang on the song and the song is called This is Avalon. Favorite, favorite song of Roxy Music. I was 15 and I was uh, in love with this song. <laughs> I love the way he sings it. And and make the Tell you another album, another group. 
which has connection to Roxy Music. Um, this band is called James. It was released in 1993. Album is called Laid. I'll play you the first song of this album. It's called Out to Get You. James was formed in uh, Manchester in 1980 somewhere and they were known to uh, actually Morrissey is the one who discovered that and Morrissey was telling the other new Smiths which I think they don't sound anything like the Smiths but this is one of the brilliant album produced by Brian Eno who used to be in Roxy Music You don't get so many bands, which is uh, compared to the one we I, I, I love in the 80s. But this one of those bands which stuck with me. I discovered them in '93, which is uh, it's one of my favorite albums. Play a second track called Sometimes. James is actually, uh, they are one, two, three, five piece band. Uh, Tim Booth doing his, his vocals. Mark Hunter keyboards. Larry Gott is guitar. David Bainton is drums. And uh, Saul Davis violin and guitar. The album. Everything here. Produce, produce, produced by Brian Eno. Which I'm a sucker for producers, so Brian Eno did Joshua Tree before this in '87. So yeah. The other song which. Now this, this says something. This album still sounds relevant until today, which I think it goes down to the producer, the musicians. In 1982 in Manchester. The 
this is your biggest um, American album. They took four years to record this album. Uh, by which time they had a cult following. The song that brought them to the world where people took, took notice of this band is when they released this song. It's called, it's a title track from the album. This was the one that made them who they are now. I loved it for the first time I heard it. Brilliant song. Laid by James. My name is Manuel. Thanks for listening. I'm in my kitchen. I will feature more albums which I grew up with. Hope you like the show. Stay tuned. Stay safe and goodbye.